Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for joining me again. As you may know from some of my other videos, I'm currently involved in a building renovation and extension project and you might have been following the build over on our Skill Builder YouTube channel. Now I've been learning absolutely loads along the way and I wanted to share some of the lessons that I've learned with you. And we've just reached a really critical stage of the build in the past week, which is actually the point which most homeowners hate the most. But in actual fact, if you've got the right information, you don't need to. And that is the knocking through. Because obviously it creates loads of mess, loads of dust, and a lot of people say they're clearing up the dust for months, if not years, to come. So when I was researching this topic, I found loads and loads of information and articles about the best ways to clear up the dust once you've created it. But there wasn't so much information about the actual dust prevention in the first place. And I suspect that this is a practice which is often overlooked. But if you're really careful and meticulous, you can actually dramatically reduce the amount of dust you create when you knock through. Which for some people, dust is just a nuisance, but for others it's a real problem. Construction dust contains some really, really nasty things and they can really, really aggravate underlying health problems and cause some people some real issues. So I think it's really important to try and get on top of this issue if you can. So these are my top five tips for reducing the amount of dust that you create when you're knocking through an extension or renovation project. So number one is find a good builder and have a conversation about dust. If you've found a decent builder, which you can do by looking for recommendations from friends, going to somewhere like the Federation of Master Builders, there's plenty of reference points out there to find a good builder. They shouldn't be unwilling to have this conversation with you. And it may just be the case, they all really vary in their practices, but if they don't realize that it's something that's really important to you, you could come home one day, they may have knocked through or started knocking through, there could be dust all over your house and it's too late to take those preventative measures. So talk to them up front. Number two is invest in a mobile dust extractor. We use the MaxVac Dust Blocker 500. And this may be something that you've discussed with your builder up front, hopefully. But if you haven't and you're already on, in the process of renovating or building an extension, then have this conversation because you can actually pick them up for as little as about £50 for a couple of days you can hire them. They're about £800 to buy. Um, the specific one that we used but they do make a real significant difference number three is use or make sure your builder is using on tool extraction most power tools these days come with um, on tool extraction and uh, they're actually really quite effective it's a real drive to reduce dust actually at source get it out of the air stop people breathing it into their lungs particularly workers and construction workers so if they're using the right equipment they should be able to do quite a good job of actually reducing the dust at source Number four is use screens. So we used a combination of these PR props and some dust sheets. And basically, because these PR props are so effective, it was really easy to get a really good seal around the room. And finally, number five, when it comes to cleaning up, which hopefully you won't have too much of to do if you've undertaken the other steps, make sure that you use a microfiber cloth because these are actually much more effective at capturing the dust particles, whereas some other materials tend to just spread them around so you don't really get rid of the dust at all. But hopefully, if you've undertaken all of those steps, you really won't have too big a clean-up job to do because they are really effective measures and I've actually been amazed. You never really know what to expect, but we took all of those steps with this project and I've actually been amazed how little dust we ended up with so it was a huge relief to all of us and we haven't spent hours and hours just uh, having to, to clean up the dust so it's great that's it for today thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video or you want to see more like this please do subscribe and if you're following my canon m50 uh, review series this was all shot on my canon m50 using a lens i'll just pop some details uh, in the box below if you want to know more but please come back soon that's all for now bye bye <laughs> Yeah.